his way down to the ring, looking rather serious, weighing 165 pounds, fighting out of H2MMA in Montreal. H2O MMA. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, H2O. Joel Enrique. He fights because he loves the, the rush, the adrenaline rush of competition. He's a boxer, but he's a well-rounded mixed martial artist. But he likes to strike. Making his way down to the cage. Weighing 165 pounds with a record of one and two. Fighting out of experienced MMA, Sean LaRose. He's here to apply himself, to push himself, because he loves and enjoys the sport and competition. He wants people to know that MMA is a legitimate world-class combat sport. It's not barbaric, and he wants the fans to enjoy the journey tonight and then the performance, the athletic performance and competition that he's going to bring here at Heroes Combat League. Both fighters are, are known for, uh, are, are fans of striking. They both enjoy boxing. They were this close to me earlier on. This will be a good fight. They're, they're both chomping at the bit to get at each other. Here we go. Big left hand to a takedown by Sean LaRose. Trying to pass Enrique's guard and he's, got, he's in half guard right now. Looks like he, pa he passes to side control. Now he's looking to go straight to mount. And he's... He attempts to go to mount and gets locked in the half guard. Looking to free that leg so he can get to mount. Landing a few strikes there from, uh, from the top. Joel Enrique showing a good bottom game. Attempting to make some space and escape. Sean LaRose attempting to pass that guard, landing big shots. Some elbows to the body from Sean LaRose. You know those don't feel good. Corner calling for body, body, head. He gets out of the half guard and gets the side control. That's a very advantageous position for LaRose as he can knees throw knees. Body from LaRose. And knees to the body. Enrique is throwing from knees Enrique of his own. The bottom. Yeah, very nice. LaRose trying to pass to Mount once again. Landing some body shots. We're under a minute here in round one. LaRose versus uh, Enrique. Enri LaRose takes Enrique is back here. Looks like he's working for, oh, and he's throwing some big shots from the top. Enrique gets the half guard again and it appears Across to try face. to get back to his feet. LaRose sprawls out to defend against Enrique's takedown. And the Rose tries to take the back again. Working against the cage can make things a little difficult to get your hooks in. So he's trying to pull Enrique back here. And Enrique turning into him. And trying to stand up, and he does. Both guys back to their feet, clinched against the cage. Under 10 seconds left here in round number one. That's the end of round one, and that, that was a very interesting round. Uh, one strike to take down. LaRose clearly wanted this on the ground, but I think we've seen from Joel Enrique, he, he's certainly more than a boxer. He's a mixed martial artist. He has a solid ground game of his own. No doubt about that. I think that round, I, I, I would say, probably went to LaRose. I, I would be inclined to give it to LaRose, but, uh, you know, just, judges tend to give the, the person on top the round. Sure. However, Enrique doesn't appear any worse for wear. He had a good round from the bottom as well. 
excited for round two. Round number two. Little Dr. Feel Good to get us going. <laughs> LaRoe's got a record of one and two. Enrique's got a record of one and one. Yeah, very well matched guys here. Fantastic Definitely. matchmaking here at Heroes Combat League. Get set for the start of round two here. Corners out. Let's do this. Both guys looking calm and ready. Ready to fight. I love this. Solid Big kicks. leg kicks by LaRose. They buckled the legs of Enrique for a second there. Looking for the takedown. Continuously trying to take his opponent down. Enrique is uh, tempted to throw a shot. Uh, LaRose has his back. LaRose has Enrique's back and he's throwing solid lefts. Yeah, those, those Under punches, and over. Those punches have some power on them. That's a fact. Enrique is giving it right back. En Enrique turns into him. Nice job. But again, Rose ends up on top. In side control, dominant position. And it appears to be trying to take his back again. He takes his back and he's landing a few shots there, LaRose. He's trying to get his uh, his hooks in on, on the right hand, on, on the right side. I believe you said it before. Those shots add up. You know? Oh, they certainly do, man. Big power shots from LaRose. Both guys back to speed again, though. LaRose pressing on uh, Enrique right on the chest. Looks like he wants to go for a takedown. A single. He got a single. Drops Enrique right down in his corner. He got head and arm right to Keza, uh, right into Enrique's guard. Enrique closes guard and applies uh, Mongolian chops to the back of. Uh, <laughs> Looks like Enrique is moving his hips here. He might be attempting. He looks like he's looking for an attack for sure. For sure. And he's still swinging. He's still punching. This is great. He's still swinging, as, using uh, it to make space. As LaRose is pressuring and, and, and not giving any room to his opponent. Relentless. Knee to the body by LaRose, followed by a strike right to the abdomen. And his corner is right there calling for that. It's a fantastic position. LaRose has got be. his... Uh, La 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 LaRose has Enrique's arms hooked. We see Enrique applies a head triangle here. We could have a, yeah. North-south position. LaRose always going towards uh, Enrique's back here. Hurt. Allowing, allowing him to throw strikes as he's doing right here from the side. Yeah. Repeated blows. And those are some heavy strikes. The, the, the ref is looking in there close. He sure is. Attempting to get his hooks in. Enrique just threw a behind the head shot, hitting LaRose. 10 seconds left in round number two here. LaRose is still hitting. Nice knees by Enrique. Beautiful knees. Good round, good round, good round. Tremendous athletes on both these guys. Fantastic round. And nobody's ever out in this fight. No, no, they're, they're, they're bringing it. Twisting and they're turning. Bringing it. They're bringing it. That's some heavy shots. That's what I love. I love the back and forth. It's oh. just, it's, uh, you know, it, it's never one side dominating. It's, it's given to us. And there was a lot of dangerous positions there too. The ref was in on it, looking very closely, ready to intervene if needed. Fantastic refing here at Heroes Combat League, of Excellent course. Excellent refing, yes. And uh, Enrique was. A, I, I liked how he kept throwing jabs and, and a variety of different shots from from rather uh, awkward positions that were not advantageous. He's very creative, turning, very exactly, creative fighter. Absolutely. Exactly, yes. Round number three. The question is, who's got the best cardio? Who's got the best endurance? You know, after two six, uh, after six minutes of fighting, two rounds, that's uh, that's a lot to ask, I think. Especially at the pace that these guys are putting it forward. For sure, this continuously. Has been an incredible pace. Here we 
we go, last round. Enrique with a nice kick. LaRose attempting to catch his kick. Goes for the body lock, and, but Enrique's still throwing. LaRose pressing Enrique. Looks like he might be going for an ankle pick here or a takedown of sorts. Enrique hitting LaRose's body. LaRose takes his opponent to the ground here. Enrique now trying to take LaRose's back. Enrique attempting to stand up and LaRose. LaRose right into cross body here. Very advantageous position, knee on stomach. Looks like he's working the arm bar. He's got the arm bar. Enrique I think he might have it. He had it. Enrique. Joel Enrique out of H2O MMA wins via armbar in round number three. A very impressive win. That was a very impressive armbar, and, and the referee stepped in there too because that armbar was tight. Yeah, yeah, I think he might have slightly hyperextended uh, LaRose's arm. Very been, impressive I, win. I've been there, it sucks. Uh, it doesn't feel good, but your arm will get better. Didn't Cayolo do that to you? Yeah, as a matter of fact, he did. We, we'll talk about that at the title fight. Sure. But right now, let's talk about Joel Enrique. And uh, arguably, although he was doing awesome, the judges, I feel, were kind of leading towards LaRose for more top games. Definitely, definitely. So, so he, you know, you could say he came from behind. I would never say he was from behind. He had a very active guard. He did. I tough. mean, he was continuously in there, right? Being very creative with those shots, always creating opportunity, transitioning, so on and so forth. But that knee on stomach transition, that, that transition from uh, into cross body, knee on stomach, immediately going for the submission was just just a perfect sequence of events for Enrique. Congratulations to Joel. Joel Enrique. What a great fight. What a great fight. The next Heroes Combat League Night right here, Stella San Marco, November 